cutting 101. Throughout this series of videos, I wanna help people get started cord cutting. Answer me the basic questions I get, give some basic steps to get started, and take you through the entire process of being a cord cutter. The first thing I wanna let you know is this series of videos is gonna follow posts over on cordcuttersnews.com. If you head over to cordcuttersnews.com and you check out the menu, right in the middle there's a post called Cord Cutting 101. It's a step-by-step -step guide to get started in writing um, with links to more details on different topics. Um, so if you're a reader, you really want it in writing, check out cordcardsnews.com and check it out in general for a great source for news, tips, and reviews all about cord cutting. Uh, but I really want it in this introduction video to get started, help everybody here understand that it's very possible to be a cord cutter, it's easier than you think, and you can watch your content. Um, now I understand it can be a little scary. You're used to doing cable TV for 20, 30 more years, and when you turn it on, you understand how that works. And you have to learn a little bit different system. I have to compare it going from a Windows compared to a Mac or a Mac to a Windows. Okay, everything's there. It's all, does all the same things for the most part, but boy, does it look different and work a little differently. But you give it a day and suddenly you fully understand how it works. So my first recommendation is to not rush into it. The greatest thing about cord cutting is you can get started in baby steps and move at your own pace. And then when you, found everything, you're comfortable, then you can call cable and cancel. You may be surprised to find out that you own many devices already that are um, got core kind of services. You may already subscribe to many like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Do you pay for Amazon um, Prime for the shipping? That's what we did, but there's a lot of content there. All the HBO content's there. Warner Brothers just signed a new deal with um, Amazon, PBS, the list goes on and on. The other thing, I highly recommend you do after you kind of say, hey, you know what, I have a smart TV, I have a game station, maybe I own a Roku or a Fire TV already. Um, is sit down with your family, write out a list of shows and say, hey, I like these five shows, my wife likes this, my kids like that, maybe my roommate wants this, or I live alone, How, whoever you live with you, have, just make out a list. And then start looking around. The first thing you should do on that list is say, okay, this is on Fox, CBS, put all the broadcast networks like NBC, ABC, and put those all together because you can get an antenna and get those for free or they are great HD for the vast majority of Americans. If you need help find out what channels you can get over the air, because there's a lot more than just Fox, ABC, NBC over there. On average, our readers get over 30 channels for free over the air, many of them in great HD. Head over to antennarecommendations.com for a guide there. So now that we've taken out the American Idol, so well, that's done now, but the Dancing with the Stars, the Survivors, you know, all those shows that are on the big networks and put those on our list because we got those for free with um, an antenna. Then we're gonna start looking at the rest. The next place you probably should check out is like Hulu, Spike, FX, the list goes on and on and on. Put their shows the next day for many of them on um, Hulu. So hey, Bar Rescue, done, Hulu subscription, $7.99 a month. Um, a lot better than the two, three hundred dollars some people pay for cable. And just kind of go down that list, work down that. The next thing you should probably do is look at how are we gonna watch this? Are we gonna get Roku? Do we have a smart TV with the apps built in? Do we have a game system? So that has Netflix, Hulu, and all those apps. So check those all out. There's a lot there. Um, the last thing I wanna kind of talk about in this video is something new core cutting is services like PlayStation View and Sling TV. Now I'm gonna talk about services in general a little later, but I kinda of want just to tell you about this one real quick. They bring you live cable TV channels um, streamed through your streaming devices like Xboxes, Fire TVs, um, Rokus, and so forth that allow you to watch um, Discovery, Fox News, CNN, ESPN, live. I use them greatly for uh, sports. The best part is there's no long-term contracts. It's month to month. And when uh, football season comes, I subscribe to the big package because I want Fox Sports 1, ESPN, Big Ten Networks, all that kind of stuff. So check them out. The best part is they all offer free trials. So give it a try. Give it a free um, with the free trial and see which one fits you. If you are a Walking Dead fan and, hey, I'm not waiting to the next day to watch The Walking Dead. I get it. I fully understand, that's how my wife is. That's the greatest thing about these services. I can subscribe during The Walking Dead and cancel. No longer do I have to agree to a two year contract just so I can watch a couple months of The Walking Dead. So check it out. 
take baby steps. I cannot stress this enough. There is no need to jump in cold turkey into cord cutting. Um, try to move yourself away from watching it on cable to watching it online. And before you know it, after a couple weeks, you'll have every show on that list, you'll know where to find it, um, just like you did on cable. You know, you may know, hey, survival for is on CBS, so I'd go to CBS. And now you just think, hey, if I want Survivor, I go to this streaming service. If I want Bar Rescue, I go to Hulu. If I want a rerun or some movies, I go to Netflix. The list goes on and on. And, but just think of services like channels, and you just gotta kinda learn which channel has what show you want. Now you learn which service has what show you want. Uh, and I'll leave you with one last tip. Stop thinking about channels. I get this a lot. Hey, I have to have Fox or NBC or um, whatever. So, you no, know, you really want the show on it. Um, don't be fooled. Sometimes you'll go onto a, an app on like a Roku and it'll say, hey, you need to log in with cable. Don't, don't worry. Okay, you don't have cable anymore. But that same show that's behind a cable wall on their NBC app is available with a subscription to Hulu. The same show that's available on Spike is available on Hulu. The same shows that, you know, for the few that are not on Hulu or Sling TV and so forth, we get a season pass on Amazon. Um, you pay like 15, 20 bucks and you get all the shows throughout the entire season for one low rate. And compared to the 130 bucks we were paying a month, um, we're saving a ton of money. So check it out. Um, I think you'd be surprised at how quickly you'll find everything you want. Questions, comments, let me know. This is just part one of a video series coming up that I hope to walk through a lot of the big questions I get, a lot of the basic steps, but I just wanted to help get you started here. So check back, I'll be releasing these videos pretty often. And again, head over to cordcuttersnews.com for a complete written guide on how to get started.